the Arrhenius equation describes the effect of temperature on the rate constant. One of the parameters of the Arrhenius equation is this frequency factor, labeled A here. According to collision theory, molecules must collide with each other in order for a reaction to occur. The more frequently the molecules collide with each other, the more likely a reaction is to occur. Arrhenius discovered that a plot of the natural log of the rate constant versus 1 over temperature gives a linear plot. The y-intercept in this plot is going to be the natural log of A, the natural log of the frequency factor. Using the Arrhenius equation, we can calculate the energy of activation, that is, the amount of energy that is required for a reaction to occur. One of the useful forms of this equation is shown here. Using this form, it's possible to determine the energy of activation by simply measuring the rate constants at two different temperatures. You may recall that this equation looks very similar to the clausius clapeyron equation. For mathematical manipulation of this equation, you might find the clausius clapeyron video very helpful. Let's look at an example. For this example, the energy of activation has been measured to be 108 kilojoules per mole, and the rate constant has been measured to be 1 per millimolar per second at 37 degrees Celsius. And the question wants to know what is the rate constant at 35 Celsius. To define the variables, we're going to make K1 be 1 per millimolar per second, and K2 is the rate constant at 35 Celsius. T1 will be 310 Kelvin, and T2 will be 35 degrees Celsius, or 308 Kelvin. So to solve this one, we're going to plug in all the variables and solve the equation for K2. After solving this one, we can see that the new rate constant at 35 degrees Celsius is 0.76. That number is less than the rate constant at 37 degrees Celsius, which is exactly what we'd expect. The rate constant for a reaction was measured to be 8.8 .8 times 10 to the minus 5 per molar per second at 25 degrees Celsius and 1.4 times 10 to the minus 3 per molar per second at 50 degrees Celsius. What is the energy of activation for this reaction? To solve this one, we're going to use the form of the equation that contains two rate constants and two temperatures, and we're going to solve it for the Ea. Next, we're going to plug in the variables and get the answer. Before we plug in the variables, we want to assign values for each one. In this case, we can make 8.8 .8 times 10 to the minus 5 be K1, and 25 degrees Celsius be T1. And we'll make the other set of conditions K2 and T2. So after we solve this one, we can see the energy of activation for this reaction is 89,000 joules per mole, or 89 kilojoules per mole. So to recap, we can use the Arrhenius equation to find the energy of activation for a reaction. And once we know that, we can solve for the rate constant at almost any temperature. And finally, we can solve the energy of activation using what's called an Arrhenius plot. This is where we use a graph with the y-axis labeled as the natural log of the rate constant, and the x-axis is going to be 1 over temperature. And the slope of this is going to be negative Ea over R. And so in order to find the energy of activation, we just have to multiply this times R, which is 8.314 joules per mole per Kelvin. And then we can solve for the energy of activation graphically.